Hello students, welcome to our JPREP channel. Hope all of you are doing well as usual. Today we will do one problem on motion under gravity. Now let us read the problem. A stone is dropped from the top of the building. Point A is the top of the building. When it crosses a point 5 meter below the top, means point B, another stone starts to fall from a point 25 meter below the top, means a stone, one first stone is dropped from the top of the building, it reaches to point B. That time, second stone starts falling from point C. And point C is 25 meter below the top. All stones reach the bottom of the building simultaneously. And we have to calculate height of the building. Okay, now A is the top of the building, point B is 5 meter below the top and point C is 25 meter below the top. Stone A starts falling from the top, from the point A. When it comes to 5 meter below the top, stone 2 starts falling down from point C. Now, all these stones, stone 1 and stone 2, reach simultaneously. Now, what do we want to calculate? The height of the building. Now, let the total height is 25 plus h. Now, for the stone 1, stone 1, the first stone is released from top of the building. So, the initial velocity u is 0. Then velocity at point B is VB. Therefore, V square is equal to U square plus 2 AS. Now this is the downward motion, therefore acceleration is positive. VB is equal to U is 0, 2 into 10 into 5. Therefore, VB is equal to 10 meter per second. So when stone 1 reaches point B, that time its velocity is 10 meter per second. And when first stone reaches the point B, second stone start falling from point C. And point C is 25 meter below the top of the building. Okay. Now again coming back to the stone 1. For the motion of the stone 1 from B to D. So velocity at point B which is 10 meter per second will be the initial velocity. Because we have considered motion of the first stone from point B to D. For B to D, the height is 20 plus h. So therefore, we'll use this formula s equal to ut plus half at square. Then s distance h is 20 plus h. Therefore, 20 plus h is equal to vb into t plus half a is 10 into t square. Therefore, 20 plus h is equal to 10 t plus 10 upon 2, 5, 5 t square. So this is the equation number. One. Now let's see for the stone 2. Stone 2 starts falling from hind edge, means from point C. Again, NC is equal to ut plus half jt squared. Still, again, it is a downward motion. U is equal to 0 and G is positive plus 10. Therefore, H is equal to 0 into t plus half 10 t square. Therefore, H is equal to 5 t square. I will substitute this edge in this equation, equation 1. So, therefore, 20 plus h is equal to 10 t plus 5 t square that is our equation number 1 h is equal to 5 t square so 20 plus 5 t square is equal to 10 t plus 5 t square and then this 5 t square cancels 20 is equal to 10 t and t is equal to 2 seconds so therefore h is equal to 5 t square 5 into 2 square that is 5 into 4 that comes to be 20 meter so therefore this distance CD is 20 meter, but the point C is 25 meter below the top uh, point A. Hence, the height of the building is 25 plus 20. That comes to be 45 meter. So the height of the building is 45 meter. I hope all of you understood this problem. And students, if you really want to perform very well in JE examination, I strongly recommend to subscribe our channel. Thank you.